Thanks for clicking on my channel, Rosie Dozzy's Life. Today, I will be making a chicken pot pie hand pie, you guys. These are absolutely delicious. You can take them wherever you go. These are my husband's absolute favorite. I hope you guys try this and leave me a comment. I'm going to start off by chopping up this yellow onion and I'm going to chop it as small as I possibly can. We want these to be seen but not heard if you know what I mean <laughs> it will give you that flavor still but not as strong so chop them small y'all now I'm going to get down on this garlic and I don't mind hearing this one but <laughs> I'm going to chop it as small as I possibly can as well like I did the onion and I'm going to go on to the next step after this All right, so now I'm going to use some tenderloins and I'm about to get these cleaned up. I have to get all this stuff off of here and out of here. So after this process, we will start the cooking. And chop this, you know, in nice little chunks. Don't give it no hunks now. You don't want no big pieces in your hand pie. All right, so I have a little butter here and I'm just putting in the onions and the garlic and I'm going to let that go on ahead and cook down. And now I'm just putting in the chicken and I will be seasoning it and I will be using some salt and some pepper. And at this point, you can put whatever seasonings that you want to put in, but I'm just going to use salt and pepper. And after it cooks, make for sure that you taste the chicken to make for sure that it does have flavor. Okay, just let it cook. Now I'm going to add in the vegetables. It's just a mixed bag of vegetables and just let that go on ahead and cook down too. And if you need to, you can season again because sometimes y'all know you have to season in layers, baby. And so I'm just going to let this go on ahead and cook down and I will be back. Looks and smells delicious in here. So now I'm just going to go on ahead and I'm going to use cream of mushroom instead of cream of chicken. And I'm just going to mix it in. And y'all, please don't use any broth, water, or nothing because these are hand pies. And if it's too liquidy, too loose, it's not going to work. So just stir it in until it is all well combined. And we are going to let it continue to cook down so that soup can warm through. Okay, we're all finished. I hope you guys have already went to the store and got your Pepperidge Farms puff pastry. Make for sure you let the puff pastry sit out for a little bit. And so now I'm just rolling it out just a little bit and I'm just gonna cut it down the middle and now I'm going to put spoonfuls of the chicken pot pie mixture on each side of this dough here. Just trying to get it perfectly inside so it does not spill over or out. And now I'm just going to take one end of it after I put all the filling in and just fold it over onto itself. And I'm going to pinch the sides to make for sure that they do stay closed and get you a good fork and just fork the edges sealed and now it's time for a nice egg wash make for sure you get those edges real good this will come out golden brown and so crispy I'm gonna put it in the oven and here they are they have just came out of the oven look how beautiful they are Look how big they are. I mean, it's a handful. And look how golden it turned out on the bottom. Now you can imagine that bite. I know you can. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how it turned out for you. And if you guys liked it, this is kind of like a hot pocket, I'd say. But these right here are so good. So you guys enjoy your chicken pot pie. 
hot pocket? Nah, hand pie. All right, y'all. Until next time, you guys stay safe. Wash your hands and leave your shoes at the door. And I plan to see you all on the next one. I'm out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And make for sure that you turn on your notifications by hitting that bell. All right, y'all. Bye-bye.